15. Last night, I finished the script for issue 3, or 2. Jeez, jeez, that would have been crazy. But no, issue 2 is done, that last page. It finally coalesced for me. The thoughts, the, the ideas all came together. I love it. It's great. I am super happy with the way it ended. Um, I have edited yesterday's video, and that is going up right now. I have finished this computer. That's going to go uh, to my friend's house right now. I'm actually going to let her know that it's done. I finished recording that, so I'll be editing that, scheduling it for later. I am going to be doing the voiceover probably a little later. I'm going to come back from this and doing some light grocery shopping. need some sugar and some chicken. And then I will be doing baseboards. Once I'm done with the master bedroom, I will have furniture in the master bedroom besides the bed. And then we'll be able to move in to our bedroom, which would be nice. And I was talking about using like an old phone or something the other day about for driving footage and Mike some people like driving footage doing it again <laughs> man said he finished it so let's see what it looks like having some some fun with the project car over here it's been a while give her, give her a rev <laughs> yesterday's video done we got another video recorded a bunch of stuff for t3g done on the back end uh, i didn't actually get a chance to work on baseboards uh, i'm gonna be painting tomorrow morning uh, so i'm actually going to go to bed now it's not even 12 yet so i'm like this is a victory for me i didn't finish editing the case build but i will do that uh, next monday we have a video for next monday so it's no no big deal there uh, next Monday, I will be putting that up for the following Monday and a couple other videos. I did test the hell out of these speakers today. They're working. They're aces. So going to finish that review. I already have all the pans and stuff done. So it's just that's a matter of just recording the audio. So I'm 70% I'm to like three videos. So that's going to be easy money on next Monday. Uh, not a lot of work on the comic today. I'm, I'm batting around the ideas for issue three. Um... I have, uh, so the way I, I actually took a page out of Mike's book, I have started like taking little audio notes. Uh, since I moved everything into OneNote, OneNote allows you to take audio clips on your phone. So when I'm looking through my phone, when I'm looking through the app on my phone and getting kind of the the idea of what the issue is supposed to be about, uh, you got to understand, I this started eight years ago. So this whole process, I mean, all these like page notes, p uh, issue notes, all that stuff was written years ago. So now when I'm looking through them, I, you know, have these, uh, you know, moments of clarity while I'm looking through the notes. So I, I record little notes to myself and uh, that's what I actually go off of when I write the script, even though for the last one, I didn't, even though I did in retrospect, because I listened to it after I finished the script and I was like, oh, so I did all of the things that I said I was going to do in that, in that video clip or audio clip. So it's nice because even if I don't go go back to it directly, I've said it. I, I've said it aloud, so it's something that's in my head. I've 
acknowledged its presence and uh, should hopefully make my life easier when I record or when, when I write. The other thing I did last night was I spent like 30 to 35 minutes just getting the software working. See, see Celtics used to be a desktop software. They switched to this online only thing. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's, I mean, it still works. It's accessible through anything, so that's cool and whatever, but the desktop software was definitely my favorite. So I didn't have the desktop software because I've recently redone my computer and since they switched to online, I figured it wasn't going to work. So I hadn't, didn't actually think about it. So when I went back to the to writing the script, I just did it online. And because of that, when I tried to export it, it gave me these like weird layouts and stuff the way it was exporting. When I copied and pasted it and copied the page numbers, uh, when I saved as a text file, it didn't save the page numbers for some reason. Uh, so then just saved like the page description and then the panels um, and then the print slash PDF export is uh, for, for the artist. So it's like real clear about what, what the dialogue is. It's it's a production script, you know, it's the production, production printout or PDF. So what I ended up doing is I ended up finding the software again, reinstalling it on my computer, relogging in, and then I was able to copy and paste with all the page numbers and everything. So uh, I think I'm probably going to switch back to the desktop software. Uh, although I might use them in conjunction because there's chance there's a chance that I won't be at home when I actually am writing. So I can, you know, go into any browser and write. So now that, you know, groundwork is laid down for that, it's going to be easier to write, first of all, now that I know I have the desktop software again. And on top of that, it's um, going to be easier to export and everything once that's done. Uh, issue 2 ended really well, I think, and I'm really excited to get Issue 3 out. Issue 3 closes the first half of the first arc, so it's going to be kind of the moment of realization. Uh, they're going to be trying to, you know, obviously, like I said, we, we see two different points of view in 1 and 2. In 3, we're going to see kind of what happened. We're going to be trying to figure out why it happened, and then when the realization hits us, everything has to change and that brings about the changes that gets us into the second gen uniforms and things like that going in from four five going into four five and six um i actually on twitter found a company called alterna comics uh they do a ton of different style i mean they, it's just like a super indie uh, company they've been around apparently for 10 years and i'm thinking maybe long run it'd be cool to maybe get in with them on one of their anthologies it looks like they're on their second or third one it'd be cool to kind of get in with something that's already exposing you know already doing exposure for themselves um i, I had this idea of an anthology and uh on wednesday i'll actually be exploring some things for write my epic which may be being renamed but I'll think about that and talk about that on Wednesday. Tomorrow is Deadweight Day. Got to get some numbers. Got to get some sales. We got to get people to play the game, really. You know, still mixed reviews and all that, but that's for tomorrow. Appreciate you guys for watching. Day 15? Yeah, day 15. And uh, on to day 16 tomorrow. <laughs>